Hey guys, Joe here at ECRM's Beauty and Wellness with Purpose Summit in Chicago. And I have back again, Psyche Terry, founder of Urban Hydration. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thank you for having me. So you guys have uh, seen before her line of products. We're gonna talk a little bit about that and then we're gonna get into the purpose-driven part of it because you're doing a lot in that area. So for those who haven't seen uh, you before, Give us a broad overview of your uh, company and the product offerings. Sure. So Urban Hydration is natural skin, bath, hair, home cleaning for any dry skin or hair. So we are working hard to be the number one natural care for dry skin and dry hair. Uh, we create our products in coconut oil, lemon, uh, al avocado oil, aloe, shea and castor. So we're all about plant-based products that are um, created for a purpose and a cause. So we're we're definitely clean beauty that saves the planet is our story. Great, now back up one second. You just said home cleaning too. Yes, I did. That was new, that's new. It so new. talk a little bit about that because you didn't mention that in the last video. Well, we realized that just being a clean person, using clean mm -hmm. products um, goes far beyond just your hair, mm -hmm. far beyond your skin. But I mean, with my kids, it also matters how I'm washing their clothes mm -hmm. and if they're able to use our cleansing products in the house. So it, it only made sense to us that we created products that were um, also for your home. So we actually say every home, everywhere, every room. Mm -hmm. So we're making products that can be in every room that are clean. We really wanna help clean up your life. Great. Well. It makes, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Clean inside, clean outside, you know. That's right. So now you do a lot of giving. And I know this is all about brands with purpose. Love it. So uh, talk a little bit about that on kind of the education side and the water side. Yeah. So um, we actually started out um, 10 years ago. This is our 10 year anniversary, if you will. And we started as a company with, as, with purpose. So we were a brand that was, I was on the board for the Blind Center of Nevada, and we were helping these folks uh, raise money to help blind members, and they were creating gift baskets, and the gift baskets were ugly. Okay. They were terrible, and I personally felt like, you're not gonna raise a lot of money if yeah. you don't like change this packaging, uh -huh. um, update, and hey, while we're at it, why don't we clean up these ingredients? Yeah. So um, that's how we started, was as a give back. And we decided, um, just as, as humans that are giving back with our own personal time, our talent, and our treasure, why don't we create that as a standard in our company? Mm -hmm. So every product that we, we make, we're doing something with the proceeds. Okay. It's actually said by our numbers, and our CFO that we give about double the normal size company nice. and give back. Okay. Um, I think the norm is 6% and we're at a, well over 10% of our profits go to nonprofit and or to purpose. And we're really excited about it. So some of the, the really cool things is we have a scholarship with students at my alma mater in Michigan okay. um, that are, if they're on the bitter edge of ready to drop out of school, uh, we've got $50,000 that we've dedicated to students there to help them in, in, in business school, help them uh, continue their education. So we'll have kids where we say, how did you end up at my table? And it's folks that are just, I mean, their stories are just so sad, but so promising that our skincare, our hair care, yeah. our home cleaning care helped um, help some, some first time generation students that had never been to school before and needed a leg up right at that bitter end. Um, so that's the education side. Our company, just last week, we were serving at um, a food pantry, uh, just personally. So we physically yeah, okay. give back as well. So we took everyone out of the office and um, it's something that we do regularly during the fall season. Thanks to ECRM, our spring season, our summer season is pretty packed up. But definitely during the fall, we do a lot of give back physically. Yeah. And then every product that we create gives back a gallon of water to building wells in Kenya. Just last week, we gave our second um, our second amount of money for our second well. And last year, I think we were pretty loud about, hey, we built a well in Kenya yep. last year. Yep. So well, we're that's at our, it's something to be loud we're about. There. Yeah. We're there, we're at our second well. So we've got a 2020 goal uh, to have 20 wells there. So we're two in okay. and we, we've got a lot, of, a lot of groundwork to make up. All right, well, you know what? It's fascinating to watch. Uh, you know, I've been following you since uh, we first met several years ago, and it's been great to see the growth. 
both on the, the product side and your success there, but also on the giving side. So thanks again. Thanks for all that you do. And uh, congratulations again on your 10 years. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.